Hello everybody and you find us in the mines of Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town, the Mineral Town Mines. And uh, we are going for it right now. We are, we are gunning for it. We are gonna be, we are gonna be finding some stuff in these mines. I didn't get a, a nice hole, so I gotta find the way down this time. I've been quite lucky so far. But uh, what we're basically doing at the moment is we're ooh, level 40. I wonder if that's like a special level. It has cool stuff on it. We'll have to see. But yeah, this shows this shows me. I reckon it's entirely possible to get down to level 50 with enough moon dumplings. And maybe even further. So and and look at the stuff that's coming out here. Wow. And I'm just leaving Paradox and Amethysts on the floor. If I see anything new looking, then I will obviously drop something for it. If I see anything that looks like it might be some kind of really cool thing. Those look to me like they are just a load of Amethysts. And we fell down a hole again. <laughs> 241, okay. 41 seems to have lots of Aquamarine. Now, Aquamarine, I think, sells for an okay amount. I think it might be worth getting rid of that turquoise to pick it up. So I want to stand kind of near to an Aquamarine so that I don't end up picking up all this amethyst that's basically on the ground. Oh, just fix that. Don't know how much Jade sells for, but I know turquoise is only 50, so it's not, not the greatest. I'm excited to see how much the diamonds sell for. Uh, of course, the wrong thing jumps in. Of course it does. We don't want amethysts, thanks. And then the scrap ore jumps in. Of course. Of course, this is my life. Ah. I want the... Thank you. Really? And this is getting a bit ridiculous now. Because I was trying to pick my stuff up and I fell down a hole. Okay, so fine. Fine. See if I care. Right, we better eat. By the time I finish this level, I imagine I'll have another space for things, which will be quite nice. This is why I make sure I eat every time I drop. Yeah, we're going to get to level 50 today. I can I can smell it. I really hope... <laughs> this is ridiculous! Level 48. Yeah, I reckon we're getting to level 50 today. I want to find... Di what is that? That's a new thing. New thing! New thing! New thing! Quick! What is it? Oh, get in my bag. Don't move. Don't move, Shelab. Don't move, you'll fall down a hole. <laughs> um, what am I going to get rid of? I think that's an, just a normal agate. I don't think we're picking up agates at this point. What's that? I want to know. It's a moonstone. Sells for a small amount. Oh. I'll go and price it, but a small amount? That doesn't sound very good. I'll take it back this time. I want more diamonds. Give me more diamonds. I'm not getting much of a chance to actually like bash through rocks and, and stuff at the moment. That's my problem. So those look to me like rubies. They would probably be worth getting rid of fluorite for, I think.
Mm, just don't know about that one. Wouldn't be worth getting rid of Emerald. I don't know about Jade. But I think getting rid of Fluorite might be a thing because that's quite common. I get that all over the place. Oh man. Picking up scrap ore again, are we? I see. That's not on. It's not going to be happening in my game. This is where level 20 is, like, the diamond level or something, and I got, like, chucked out of it early. Because I certainly haven't found any diamonds since. That's some moonstones. If I take them back and they sell for a horrendous amount, then I will be... I'll be, I won't be too disappointed because I'll be like, you know what, it did warn you. Uh, but I won't be too impressed. I had to go all this way down into the mines to find something that rubbish. I guess we're going to find level 50, are we? Yay! So that has proved that level 50 is not that hard to get to if you've got like, you know, you've done your first year, you're in your first winter, you've got like a decent kitchen. Really? Is there anything in here? It's just, it's just a level where you don't get any stuff? Just like the troll level? It's like the totes troll level. Try to keep my stamina high because sometimes these uh Why is that no stuff? I'm so confused. Well that's the way down. I'm gonna try and maybe there's some rare stuff and you just got to be really, like, tenacious. Well, there we go. <laughs> and now on level 54! Give me diamonds. Why are there no diamonds? <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, I need some more food now. Noms, noms, noms. I mean, it's really good that I'm getting to go further down into the mines, but I would, I would love to actually find some... <laughs> I would love to actually find some gems. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be amazing? I'd be so irritated if that was a diamond. Well, this just goes to show it shouldn't be too hard for me to do similar to this in the mine where I'm wanting to get, in the other mine where I'm wanting to get mithril and, and all that stuff. I reckon, I reckon I could do a good job in there. Right, let's uh, get rid of the scrap ore. I'll probably end up picking up, picking up more scrap ore or more something useless. Maybe I'll pick more of those sand rose things up because I don't know how much they sell for and they could be good. They could be terrible. I really don't know. <laughs> Let's have some more food. I'm gonna um, 
and throw out the agate because I don't think that that's needed. So let's get rid. Oh, come on. What are you doing? <laughs> Get rid. I want to keep the aquamarine, I think. I want to keep the topaz. The moonstone, I'm, I'm just, I just want to, for science, the moonstone, honestly. Uh, the sand rose I want to keep because it's, it sells for a decent amount, it says. Um, other things have jumped into my inventory there. Let's see if I want to get rid of any of it. I don't really think I need fluorite. Uh, no, I don't need turquoise. And I don't really think I need all this fluorite either. I don't need peridot. There's a lot of fluorite on this level, apparently. Let's see what else we got. More of those sand roses. Okay, nothing on the ground there that do that sells for a really good amount. So let's just hoe our way through. See if we can get down another level to a level where we maybe find diamonds. Level 60. <laughs> oh, well, we don't get to find out what's on level 60. You get to find out what's on level 65. Well, well, okay. This is highly amusing. That looks like it might be garnet, and garnet it sells for a good amount. It might be worth getting rid of jade for, possibly. I'm getting rid of all these other things. I'm keeping the moonstone, and I think it's a mistake, but I want to check. I know how much fluorite goes for. Decent amount. Garnet is a good amount. Emerald is a good amount. Ruby is a decent amount. Jade is a decent amount. I just don't know. I think I want to be getting rid of Jade. In return for our garnets. I don't need amethysts. No, no, no. We're looking for the good stuff. Looking for the diamonds. This is getting kind of ridiculous at this point. I think I need more food now, in case I fall down another hole and it knocks me out. I'm really pleased that I got that nice power berry last time though. That's pretty awesome. But at this point I'm kind of wanting to see if I find anything new. I'm not getting much of a chance though, I'm just falling down loads of holes. <laughs> I'm getting much of a chance to find stuff. There's part of me that wants to look up the gem prices as I go. I think I'm making a a good choice on things. Okay, we can eat that last dumpling and then you can pick up some of the other gems. You, oh, you can pick up some scrap ore. Why not? Why not pick up some scrap ore? Because that's really useful. I'm totally going to sell a big stack of that for like a thousand million pounds. I swear, she's picking them up in like reverse price order. Right, so are those rubies gonna be worth more than those yellow ones? I don't know. 
really don't know. I don't think there's probably much in it, to be honest. I want to find more diamonds. I did quite a lot more uh, gold down here, though, which is kind of cool. When I'm, when I'm doing my hoeing. Uh, we're up to half. Okay, that's the way down. Level 69, don't laugh. I'm trying not to go below half stamina right now. Reason being, I don't want... Oh, there's loads of rubbish down here. Reason being, for that one. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, the reason I don't want to go above half stamina is that I don't want to fall down a hole and end up getting knocked out. That's what I was trying to say. I really hope the stuff that I'm bringing back is worthwhile. But otherwise I've spent all this time and all this money on the, the stuff to get down the levels. And that looks different. That looks like something very different. Hang on, let's get rid of something else. To, to have a little look at that. Maybe I'll get rid of some jade or something. Oh, fluorite. Okay, yeah, you can absolutely go. Bye-bye. Agate just jumped into my inventory. I don't want that in there. What's that that just jumped in there? Oh, okay. It looked like it was. It looks like it was amethyst with something else. Okay, fine. It's the last one of those roses I think I can pick up. I've gotten so far down. I'm thinking there'd be some like really cool stuff down here, just like drowning in stuff that sells for really good amounts, but not really the case as much. There's ruby there, there's fluorite. You're still finding all the rubbish, which kind of sucks. Well, that might be a lesson to be learned about the mines. Maybe going down too far really just isn't worth it. you get an elevator which now I know is a thing I'll obviously be going for but I think I need to give the goddess like a good few more presents before that's gonna happen and at this point I'm just like hitting everything in case I get a diamond basically or anything else that pops out that's kind of cool looking But I imagine, like, I've been down here for ages. I imagine I will be coming back pretty soon. But it has proved to me that I can probably easily go down in the other mines and try and get myself some uh, mythic or mithril or that sort of stuff. Probably as rare as diamonds are down here. Look at this. Look at this mess I'm leaving. <laughs> I don't know what anything is worth, that's my problem. But I want to keep going in case I find diamonds, because I know that they're going to be worth lots. So let's just do some hoeing here then. Get some money for the hoeing at least. I think I've got a good haul here and I think it'll be worth a lot when I sell it. We'll have to see. It's level 70. I want diamonds. Diamonds in level 70, please. Mm. 
nothing so far has popped out that looks particularly tasty. Now I'm wondering whether it's worth maybe just going up, selling and keeping my dumplings for another day. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm so confused. Because that's like another like 34 dumplings and I could easily go and get another 10 grand's worth of of stuff using that. Whereas at the moment I'm just, I'm leaving stuff, so much stuff behind. Oh! Ha 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 ha! There are diamonds on this level. Don't fall down the holes now, she lab. That was me doubting myself. And I found two more diamonds. I have some noms. Um, what do I want to pick up with the noms? Probably these rubies, I reckon. There's lots of them. She says not picking up the rubies. Oh well. I want to grab every rock on this level in case another diamond pops out. I do like the fact that the things in this game sh show up as quite big if they're important. And another Diamond Central level 70. it works whether the further down you go the more likely you are to find a diamond people are saying it works a little differently in this mine to the other one the other one the further you go down the more likely you are to find something really interesting this one not so sure definitely worth a few dumplings to just see if we can find more diamonds I hope diamonds sell for a good amount. I'm going to be he carefully observing. How much do they sell for? There's another one. Oh, yes. Loving this level. The next diamond I find, I'll have to get rid of something to make space. Here you go, G Lab. Just don't fall down a hole, okay? Okay, so I think we have garnets on the ground um, that I could be picking up in return instead of rubies and stuff. And um, because they say they sell for a good amount, I think they may sell for more. I don't know though. I could get out of here and be really disappointed because I've done it the wrong way around. So I'm just going to see, I'm just going to see what the deal is with that. And once I know for sure, then my mining runs will be much more interesting. I think I need to eat some more. I do want to go through all of these rocks just on the off chance that there is more diamonds. I know it's been really mine heavy the last couple of episodes, but I feel like today will probably be the day where I won't be actually. They're still working on that blinking mayonnaise maker. I've got no idea how long that's going to take. Gee. Another diamond. Right, now I'm going to have to get rid of something else. Um...
Maybe something like aquamarine, aquamarine, I'm sure. I don't want to get rid of them. They're maybe topaz, actually. Maybe a stack of topaz. I want to see what some of the prices are. It's hard to remember all the different prices, but... Oh yeah, of course. Now I've picked up a load of other stuff. Oh well, never mind. Let's just keep going until we find another diamond. Okay, found another diamond. So now I need to work out what I want to get rid of to pick it up. That was the better way around to do it, wasn't it? Uh, sapphire sell for a good amount. Let's get rid of some jade, I reckon. I would imagine things like sapphires would sell for more than jade, but then you think you would think that rubies would sell for more than garnets, so I don't think it's very based on real real world, but I've got ten diamonds, I really hope that that's a good amount. But yeah, this is what I've always wanted to kind of do with this, is to really just come in and do a really good run through the mines rather than sort of half ass it. I, I get a load of food and go down really far as much as I can. There they are, so I've got room for a bit more topaz. That's fine. I've got room. If there are any more diamonds, I've got room for them. But I think this might be the last level I'll do. I'll keep the rest of those moon dumplings for the next time I come down. What is that? Oh my gosh. I think that's like one of those 10,000 ones. Oh, I think it's one of the 10,000 ones. I think that's a pink one. Get rid of those aquamarines now. Oh, are you kidding me? It's in amongst all this other stuff. Ah, oh, no. Oh, come off it. Hey, okay, right, let's have a look at this now. Pink diamond, an extremely rare and valuable gemstone found in mines, sells for a hefty price. Now the diamond. I'm liking level 70. Part of me feels like I should continue in case I find more of this sort of stuff. What if I find another pink diamond? And that's worth quite a lot of money. another diamond and another diamond <laughs> okay she lab it's fine we we'll just eat some more dumplings you're good you're doing good really good just leave it littering the floor with gemstones Throwing them away at this point. How many diamonds have we got now? Seven, no, 16 diamonds. This has got to be good, right? It's my 17th one. Popped 
out along there. Can't see very well down there, you see. Another one. Oh, this is so good. I know it's taken me ages, and I do apologise for the amount of sheer mining that has been done. But isn't this exciting? Oh my goodness, that's like an entire stack. Ah! Okay, let's get rid of these um, turquoises and like, try and make a new stack. Get rid, that, rid of that ruby. Get rid of that scrap ore. This is this is the problem here. Right. The wrong things jump in. Right, I think this should be the last one I have to now get rid of. It's a, a garnet. In fact, I'd be better off getting rid of rubies than garnets, I think. And go around collecting all the garnets up because I think they sell for a bit more. There we are. <laughs> oh, another big diamond! Yes! Did I get two diamonds set? No, it was just one. Okay. So we are now at the point where we have 18, 19, we do have 20 diamonds now. I am so excited. <laughs> I wonder how much 20 diamonds sells for. 20 diamonds and a pink diamond. <gasps> it's another pink diamond! Ah! Oh! I'm pretty sure they sell for 10k each. I think this is going to be the haul of a lifetime. Oh my goodness. 20 diamonds, 2 pink diamonds. Oh! I think I might actually carry on and see if I can get any more. Let's uh, grab some food. I think we definitely um, paid back the the food cost. Like the food cost was ten grand, so you know you need quite a lot to actually pay that back. But I think this will be a good haul. And it, once I have a little bit more knowledge about the good and the decent and the small amounts of money and what they what they are, which I'll have a good look at. This is 71. Quite a small level actually compared to 70. And we'll see what we've got here. 70 C, I mean, I wonder if every 10 levels is particularly good. And I feel like I may have been cheated out of that a little bit uh, previously because obviously some of the previous levels I've been to have thrown me down a hole straight away. So I think level 20 might have been the first one where you start to get diamonds. It does seem to be like the 10th level is the good one. So it might be worth trying to get all the way down to level 80 if I can. Yeah, nothing good here. Either that or going back. Made a few a few pennies in just the gold that we're finding as we dig in. It's getting quite good actually. We'll head down. 72. So this has got more stones, so there's more of a chance I'll find something cool uh, good down here. But again, I'm not really sure. So far I've only found diamonds on levels that have ended with a zero. So I've got a feeling that it might be good to go down to levels that end with a zero. I'm still gonna check. I'll I'll bash every rock in this level and just see. But if I can find a pattern to it then that might uh might show me something. But yeah every time I got down to like a level ending in a zero I ended up having to uh, go fall down a hole, and that was a bit annoying. Yeah, I've got this straw 
strong, strong feeling that I'm not going to find stuff on this level. It's all a big learning curve though, but I do have a feeling that I want to be heading for level 80 or back up because I don't have many moon dumplings left now. Certainly not many diamonds popping out. It's all the same stuff. It's all the same rubbish. I think by now I would have had a diamond pop out. Someone did say it's not about it's about it's about what the level is is not like they were trying to give me a clue i think but i think the clue is that maybe every 10th level is where you find all your diamonds and your pink diamonds and stuff and that it's maybe not worth bashing all the rocks on these levels i want to just give this one a fair chance and i do have a strong feeling I feel like I maybe have given this a fair enough chance. Nothing is really popping out other than the usual junk. So what I might want to do is be more specific and try for diamonds and pink diamonds. Also might be worth going to the library to see what things are worth uh, a little bit more. Now the question is, am I going to get down to level 80 on 6 moon dumplings my guess is probably not unless i'm incredibly lucky i'm on what am i on now level 72 that's eight more levels and once i get there will i have enough to no i think we're going back up i think we're exiting the mine going back up and we're going to go and see how how much this all sells for i've got huge amounts of stuff and we'll come back and we'll see the harvest goddess in just a minute so let's stand in my chicken coop i think that's been almost two episodes just down that mine, just on, on the 7th of winter. <laughs> it won't be like this the whole way, I promise. Right, so, I'm going to go in this shipping bin. I want to see how much this all goes for. So, yeah, 10,000 for my pink diamonds. Moonstone's 55. 75 for sapphire, that's a good amount. 75, 75, 75 is a good amount. Decent amount is 50. Good amount. Very good amount is 100. All oh, right, so diamonds really aren't that all that. Like, they're not all that. It's the pink diamonds that are all that. So I got about 2,000s worth of diamonds there. I was getting very excited for them, but they really weren't that much. Sandro's sell for 60. So really, I need to be throwing out anything that, um, like Sandro's and things like that. But I made a lot of money because pink diamonds. <laughs> And I think I've learned something about those mines while I was down there. I think I need to be heading now. How much is that? 33,383. I tripled my money. Well, hopefully Zach will be pleased with me. Let's say hello to the chickens. And we'll give them some food as well. I think that's probably the most I've ever made in a day on this game. <laughs> Definitely. I'm going to grab some more. I, what I may have to do, I keep throwing all the, the feeds into the bookcase. So I may need to just pop into the bookcase and... Hey Alison, there you are. Have some food. Have some food. Some food. I think that 33k may be enough for me to buy in, buy uh, the barn upgrade. And I think if I'm more clever about it, then that could be cool. Right. Over to the barn. Also, where's B? Did I leave her by the mine? Oopsie. 
Okay, the other thing I need to do, which is a bit, a little bit more time sensitive, is to pop up to the forge. Oh, with some gold. Oops. In my house, quickly. Get some gold. Oh, pop up to the forge. Oh, hang on, they haven't finished that yet. Uh, let's just pop up and see if it says they're still working or if I can even go in first before I start taking gold all around the place. I want to go see Brandon if I can. Hello! The mayonnaise maker you ordered is ready. I installed it on your farm. Yes! Mayonnaise! Oh, we're gonna have so much money now! Oh. Okay. Lovely. So I'm gonna go quickly head back to my farm then. Of course, the, the one time I, I go in and I'm like, oh, I won't take the gold with me. I'll see if he's finished. Is the one time. Right, so I'm gonna put in... I'm actually kind of thinking to put in my hammer and my hoe first. Uh, it depends on how long it's going to take. Because I definitely need my watering can done by spring. But there's no big rush on it. Right, so. Upgrade tools. If I upgrade my watering can to gold, that will take one piece of gold. It will take one day to finish. Oh, that's not too bad. There's only mithril that starts to be more. Okay. So I could do that and I could spend some time. Oh, I don't have enough money for it today. I'll have to do it tomorrow because I've got a lot of money coming to me tomorrow. Enough to upgrade everything, including probably the barn. Um, so I, if I put the golden water, if I put the watering can in, then I can spend some more time down the mines but if I do the other stuff first that might be better all right I think I think it's gonna have to be it's gonna have to be poor she lab um, she's gonna go make some mayonnaise and she's gonna keep that gold in her inventory and then tomorrow when all that lovely money comes through she's gonna she's gonna absolutely oh I'm gonna get all the other eggs as well we're gonna make mayonnaise out of everything I also want to go to the library. I want to see if there's anything else that's worth almost, you know, if I've got the best thing, basically. And I went to level 70 there. Um, I think the rope, the pink diamonds are the best. That's why I was very excited when when they, they came through. But I'm, yeah, I'm going to head to the library really quickly, see if it's open, and see if I can have a look at the ore prices again. Shipping prices. Unfortunately, they're not on my bookcase. I have to go all the way up to the library to go and see them. Uh, and I need to go and fetch B because I've left her outside the mine. I really should be riding her instead, but never mind. Let's go and have a quick look. No. No. Shipping values, right. So, we go to the... Oh, mayonnaise for a medium egg which is I think what we're getting at the moment I think a good egg will probably end up being a medium mayonnaise but one two three four five six one two three four five six seven hmm it'll go up to 150 if I get a medium mayonnaise out of it but I'm not sure because there's seven different eggs oh no hang on one of them is a hot spring egg yeah so there's six eggs and there's six different mayonnaise sizes so it'll go from 80 to 150 so that'll be 150, 300, 600 worth in just eggs every day. Not even with the milk. So that is really starting to go up quite considerably. Yay. Let's have a look at the ores. Cheese is good. Can't wait to get these animals up to really good amounts and then we'll get some really cool stuff. Pirate treasure of 10,000 gold. Wow. Um... <laughs> Here we are. So mithril, oracalcum is 50, adamantite is 50, turquoise is 50, moonstone 55. So turquoise, moonstone, sand rose, all those things need to just be like chucked out. Diamond. So a pink diamond is 10,000. Alexandrite is 10,000. And Mythic Ore is 20,000. Now I think I need to be on like every 10th level 
to be getting the diamonds and pink diamonds, I think I probably need to be going to level 20 and then trying to get to level 30. So if I end up on a, a non-zero level, I need to just carry on going down as much as I can and then try to get pink diamonds if possible. Diamonds are good, but they're not worth delving for more than you could get two of something else and that would e easily equal a diamond. So using tons and tons and tons and tons of food, what I may as well do is use just enough food to, to dip down and get like 10k worth of stuff. So take down like a couple of stacks of, uh, of moon dumplings, just fill my inventory with as many ores as I can and then come back up again because like the least expensive one in, in that mine is turquoise, which is 50. You get two of those, it's worth the same. So unless I'm going for pink diamonds, it's not worth it. It's, it's probably more worth just going down and getting a little haul each time. But I was lucky there, I got a good amount of stuff. I got like the usual 10,000s worth of stuff, which is what seems to, my an inventory full seems to be about 10,000. And I could just keep going in and dipping that 10,000. Whereas going all the way down to like level 70 to get pink diamonds is difficult. Whereas if I had an elevator that took me to say hey, level 50 or something, I could just keep redoing and redoing and redoing a zero ended level. Which, so that would be very, very handy for me. Ah, it's all, it's all stuff to think about, isn't it? But yeah, it's trying to, trying to think about why, what things are worth and, and stuff like that. Right, so I'm going to ignore everybody because I'm anti-social. <laughs> I was very lucky to get those pink diamonds though. Super happy with that. That was worth, worth it three times over. However, I think I could have just gone in three times, not spent as long and got almost as much money. So I'm starting to learn my lessons here. I'm starting to learn what's good and what's not good. Yesy. Right, so I'm gonna go and grab B and, and give the, the harvest lady a little offering. Get some flowers in here. I'm gonna give her the true red magic flower. Maybe she'll like that. I don't know. But I need to find where B's gone. Like, I, I don't know where B is right now. B uh, has wandered over to Jennifer's tent. Okay, fine. I'm so dumb. I like. I, I just basically forget that I've got a, a horse. So I need to go get her back, don't I? Maybe if I hide you out here. Where are you, B? Oh, there you are. Maybe if I hide you out here, and uh, and Moogie won't come take you back. I'm glad I got to show you guys riding, even if she does get taken away. I, I, I can show you guys riding. Yay! See see what I got for you? Whoa, shipping a lot today, eh? Keep, good, good, keep it up. <laughs> he likes that. Do you want an orange? I could give you an orange. Didn't have time to make mayonnaise today, though. Ooh! Hey, I know, why don't I teach you this recipe I've got for a summer sun? Hmm. Nah, I don't get what it's used for, neither. I just got the recipe kicking around, is all. You need a small fish, a medium fish, and a large fish. And here's the important part, an ancient fossil and pirate treasure. I know where you can get the fish, but those last two, no clue. They're really, like, rare things, I think. The recipe says you don't need no tools though. Heck, if you're up to the task, why not try putting it together? A summer sun. You learned the recipe for summer sun. I have no idea what that is, but hey, I gave Zach oranges and he gave me a recipe. I'm happy. Right? So now we have 34,000 buckaroonies. Uh, I need to just check I've done all my animal stuff. Which I have not at all in the slightest. It looks like I've looked after the chickens, but not the other animals. So we will do that. Did I brush B today? Yes. And B is getting a bit of riding skill too. Moogie has so far stayed away. I'm like, I don't want to see you, Moogie. Go away. <laughs> don't take my walls away.
Okay, there's everybody brushed. Everyone needs a chat. Hey, Bubbles. Hey, Buttercup. Hey, Lolly. Hello, Casey. Eight days left. Wow. Like I say, I do need to probably go to my uh, my cabinet and take all of the feeds and fodders and stuff out and put them back where they belong because I've been a bit messy with that. Looks like Skew Whiff could do with a bit of a trim. I think that's everybody. Oops. Right, so now I need to do the milking and the trimming and all that stuff, and then I need to go and uh, use my mayonnaise maker for the first time, which is pretty cool. Okay, got some milk there. Got some milk here, and then we get some llama fur. That still looks like a small milk. Have a quick look. And that's still small strawberry, and that's a medium normal milk. I think Lolly will probably be the first one capable of making a large milk, I think. I might even need a seven heart one for that. Right, where's my clippers? And you need a clip. There you go. That's still a small fur, but that's still quite quite worthwhile. Let's head on down. The chicken coop and see what this mayonnaise maker is all about. Hello, mayonnaise maker. So I imagine I just need to. Well, first thing I'm going to try and do is. No, I imagine I need to hold them and throw them in. Oh, cool! It makes a whole stack. And I'm thinking this is probably going to be medium mayonnaise. Now, there was a goddess collection. And I think... Yeah, these are 150 each because they're mediums. I'm going to try and give the goddess... Pop those in as well. Milks and stuff. Milks and fleeces. Yeah, we are minted now. So I stupidly forgot to give her a present today. So I'm going to try giving her a mayonnaise and I want to see what happens. Whether that's part of her collection. Well, if it's in she lab, how lovely if you come to see me again. I always appreciate an offering. Mm, honestly, I could take it or leave it. But since you've offered it, thank you and bye-bye. Right, so she doesn't like mayonnaise. That's fine. I don't mind. Maybe. Okay, so I threw that in the shipping bin. Um, yeah, I now have enough money that tomorrow, I, th I think we're going to go to bed now. I think we're done with everything. B just goes to bed whenever she feels like it. She, she's her own horse. She does whatever she wants. Um, so I may give her the true red flower thingy tomorrow. So, tomorrow I am going to put in my hammer for one day to get it up to gold. Then I will put in my hoe for one day to get that up um, to gold as well. Then what I might do is to try and see if I can get them up to, like, uh, mithril. I might see if I can go in the other mine and get some mithril ore. Um, I think... I need to probably go a few more levels down, like maybe like 10 plus to try and get Mithril. And I imagine Mythic is like way, way down. Um, but I'll just have a good go through there at some point. You know, when I'm minted with money and it's springtime, I've got loads of crops coming in and all the animals are doing loads of cool stuff. And they're all, the chickens are all like, I mean, look, they are next year, those chickens, they're already... I've actually already got Mona at five hearts, so I very much imagine they're going to start to get up to five or six hearts pretty soon. Uh, so we're going to be starting to get the large eggs and the large mayonnaises of all of them probably at some point next year. 
So yeah, we're going to start to get some super good returns on all of the chickens. Um, I've only just started on my rabbit journey, so that'll take a bit longer. And then I'll probably be making yarn out of that pretty soon. So there's a few different things. I'm going to be trying to upgrade the barn, if for nothing else. And I think I'll be able to turn my milk into cheese and stuff like that. So I'll, the sooner I can like get that done, although it's very expensive because it's going to mean uh, buying a lot of lumber and stuff. I mean, I don't think I've got a ton of lumber. 27 lumber and 12 stone. Ouchie. That's terrible. That's really bad. So I do need to try and collect more and uh, so that it's not as expensive. But, you know, I'll try my best. So anyway, that was an amazing run. I've got loads of pink diamond and I've got a little bit of an idea of ways that I might be able to maximise what I get in the mines. Um, I don't know where the pink diamonds started coming in, whether they started coming in at around level 50 or whether it was level 60 or whether it was actually level 70 was the first one you would get it at. Um, but I definitely feel like it's worth going down there and checking that out a little bit more. But I definitely think I want to do some massive work on tool upgrades. So I'm going to take my six moon dumplings. I might get a few more as well. I might just get a couple of stacks couple of stacks actually gets you quite far. Um, and then see how far I can get down in the normal mines and see if I can find that mithril ore that I need for the further upgrades on things and see if I can get that done. I think my hammer might be ready because I've done a lot of hammering and my hoe might even be ready for it too. Not sure. But anyway, that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you would like to see more Story of Seasons, Friends and Mineral Town, then please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you all next time. In the meantime, though, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.